Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a vlog. So this is actually going to be a pack with me vlog. Hang on, my phone's ringing. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, this is a pack with me video. So I go on holiday on Friday, early hours of Friday morning. It's actually only Monday now, but I'm going to start packing anyway. If you know me, then you will know I'm quite an organized person and I like to get things done in advance and I like to be prepared so packing four days early is what I'm gonna do I like to do it now because I can lay everything out as I'm show you in a second I can see what I need I can make sure everything fits in the case if it doesn't I may need to change my outfits I can weigh the case to make sure it's the right weight if I need to pop out and buy new things I can do that as well so that is my thought process behind it I'm actually in a different room today I'm in my dining room it's actually empty because my mum is yet to buy a new dining room table so I'm using this as kind of like my space at the moment whilst it's an empty room i've got a rail and stuff in here so it's the perfect place to pack so i thought i would do it in here instead of up in my room like i normally do so this is the current situation i obviously have my rail here i'll show you what's on there in a minute and go into a little bit more detail i have my suitcase and my carry-on and my packing cubes and i have some like clear what do you call them clear cases but like toiletries and stuff as well i have shoes handbags hats accessories pajamas jewelry toiletries sanitary products as well sorry if that's tmi so yeah i've basically spent this morning laying everything out so i thought what would be quite good is to show you guys like my proper thought process behind packing. We are going to Parma, we are going for a few days, it's not a week. The luggage allowance is quite small. As soon as we booked this holiday, I started thinking about potential outfits, clothes I might want to take with me, and I actually created a little bit of kind of a mood board. I'll show you it. So I use a app called Canva. I use it for work stuff that I post on Instagram, but I also use it for planning outfits. So I will show it to you now and you guys can see. So basically this is what I've done. So outfits for traveling, outfits for every day and every evening. I've also popped some like inspiration pictures on there as well. The kind of vibe that I was going for in case I forget. And I started doing this pretty much as soon as we booked the holiday, which I think was probably about two months ago now. These mood boards and these inspirations changed over that time. Once I tried things on, maybe I got new inspiration, maybe I got some new pieces that I wasn't expecting. So this has changed, but it's always good, I think, to have set ideas about what you want to wear on what day so you know exactly what you're packing, exactly what you're wearing as well. It takes the stress away when you're on holiday in the evening, you're thinking, oh my God, what the hell am I gonna wear? What am I gonna piece together from the stuff that I chucked in my case? You don't need to worry about that because you've already got the exact outfits already planned out. All you have to do is refer to your phone and there they are. Now Canva is not a free app, you don't have to pay for it, but because I use it for work, that's fine by me, but you can also create these kind of things on your notes page on your phone. You can copy and paste images onto notes, which I didn't know about until recently. So that's another option for you guys if you don't want to pay to have Canva. So another thing that I do before I go away is I'll make a little notes list. As you can see on here, I've got Palmer, I've got all the things I need to put in my hand luggage, all the things I need to put in the holdall case, literally down to every single item. Like I don't just put outfits, I'll put this shirt, this bikini, this pair of trousers. So I can just tick them off as I go. Now I did mention the luggage allowance is not huge for this holiday. I think annoyingly we've got 15 kg on the way there with EasyJet and 10 kg on the way back with Wiz. I've never ever had a suitcase that weighed 10 kg before. Normally I'm like a 23 to 25 kind of gal at least. This is a shorter holiday. We're not there for a full week. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to manage this. I have purchased some new luggage. So I'm gonna show you that. First up, I got a new cabin carry-on bag. I saw these last year. They were kind of going around on TikTok and they are the exact size that fits in, I think, Ryanair and Wizz Air um, for the smaller cabin bag. I think EasyJet as well. And apparently they fit a lot of stuff in. It looks quite roomy, so I'm hoping to get a lot in here. Um, and this can just go under the seat on the plane. I just got this from Amazon. I'll leave it linked down below. I think it was like 20 or 30 pounds. It wasn't too expensive. 
I also got from Amazon this case as well. Um, I already had a small case. God, it is tiny, isn't it? I already had a small case, but I didn't really like it. It's quite old and I wanted to upgrade to get a new one. So I picked this one up from Amazon and I thought I would get this one because I want to get like eventually the full set because I love this kind of like silver stainless steel look. Really reminds me of the Ramoa ones, but for a fraction of the price. This one also has proper padlocks on, which my other one didn't. So um, it's a little bit safer, feels quite sturdy. It's not too heavy either. And I think this was around 63 pounds, which sounds quite a lot for a small case, but I couldn't really find much that was much cheaper. I found another one that I think was like 54 pounds. It didn't have like proper locks or anything on it. So I would have had to have bought a padlock, which I didn't really want to do. So I just thought I may as well get the one that I really like and go for this one. So that is my luggage. I also have my, packing cubes oops from amazon which i am going to pack everything in obviously and i think i've got everything laid out you have to excuse my hair in this video by the way i've not done anything with it today. i've just brushed it and popped this headband on so it's not looking great it's looking a bit straggly but never mind in a minute i will go through all of the clothes i've got I'll try and link as many of them as i can in the description box as well but i probably will have posted a lot of my holiday outfits over on instagram if you do want to see something on or i maybe i've missed a link then head over to my instagram and i will try my best to link everything over there so i know that i'm packing four days early well maybe three days early because we head off early hours of friday morning so i would need to have everything done by thursday night anyway and some of you may be thinking everything's going to get like really creased and really squashed in the case that doesn't really bother me whether i put it in now or whether i put it in the morning i go the pieces are still going to be creased i'm going to have to steam them or iron them when i get to the hotel regardless so i may as well just start packing now so let's go through what i've got on the rail this here is obviously my airport outfit the adenola leggings and crop top in the coffee bean color and then just a jumper as well because like i said it's an early morning flight so i'm gonna want a jumper even though when we get there, I think it's something like 34 degrees. Hopefully I'll be all right in that. Then we've got day one outfit, linen shirt and satin trousers. Evening one outfit, this is a gorgeous dress from Pretty Lavish. Day two, I've got this crochet top and skirt from Fourth and Reckless. And my Anina Bing sarong. Evening two, I got this new top from Mango and my embroidery anglaise mini skirt, mini skirt, midi skirt. Then have this blue striped shirt and some cream shorts and pretty lavish. This gorgeous set from House of CB. Um, I got this top, it's not done up so you can't really see it properly, but beautifully like embroidery anglaise top and cream satin skirt which you guys have seen before I then have a travel home outfit i have this black kind of strapless top linen trousers which i can also wear during the day and in the evening if i want to and then in here i've popped all my bikinis in this la reviche i think that's how i see it um, I got a bikini from them and I thought this was just a cute bag to pop them all in. So that is what I've done. Down here, obviously, we have my shoes, trainers that I'll be wearing on the plane. I thought it'd be good to take trainers with me as well, just in case I do want to go to the gym or work out or anything. Or we go on like a walk or something like that. Unlikely, but you never know. My brown strappy sandals I got from H&M, they are sold out, unfortunately. My Primark £1 flip-flops, because can't go anywhere without them. I got these new black sandals from Zara the other day, which I love. They're like a flip-flop kind of thong with a kitten heel. Very cute. My Oran sandals and my Chypri sandals. Anina Bing beach bag, Jacquemus, Marnie and Loewe bag. Hats, I've got this straw hat, a straw bucket hat and my Jacquemus bucket hat. New pyjamas, I got these from Primark and they are so cute. Like these little white elasticated shorts and like a white cropped shirt as well. Plugs, underwear, socks, sunglasses. I got all the toiletries and skincare out as well. I got gifted these little mini Necessaire products a while ago and I thought I'm gonna keep them for when I go on holiday because they are perfect size. So I've got deodorant, body wash, exfoliator, body lotion. I'm gonna take my Olaplex because I can't live without it. Kate Somerville SPF for my face, body SPF. And then I've also got this Hawaiian Tropic like spray which is SPF 30 and I love using this 
razor. I'm going to take my Tan Lux for Glow and like a little brush to buff it out with because this is gorgeous on holiday. Two Jo Malone perfumes. This one is just super handy because it's tiny. There's only a little bit in it left. So if I use all of this, I could probably just leave it there as well. And then I have the rose blush as well because it's nice and summery. I popped all my jewellery in this Diptyque um, drawstring bag. All of my skincare. Got my face halos and a little kind of flannel thing as well. Ren Glow and Protect more of each spray can't go anywhere without that my elemis cleansing balm and um, pro collagen marine cream i've got a little mini goat milk cleanser as well because i like to double cleanse lip balm eye cream this quarterly product and then the tan Lux face drops because my face never tans also a few essentials wipes anti-back gel which i probably will take with me in my hand luggage plasters we've got Imodium, we've got neurofen we've got antihistamines bug spray always take all of those with me on holiday and then my portable charger and my airpods as well <sighs> and breathe so that is everything that i have laid out obviously there are a few things like my makeup my toothbrush my chargers my camera that i cannot pack yet i have a little list of things on my notes as well that i need to pack the morning off so i will make a list tick them off before i leave to go to the airport just so i don't forget anything sorry that it is a little bit dark in here by the way the lighting is not great in this room so it's not the best for filming but it's the best space for me to pack in so what i'm gonna do is do my hand luggage first so obviously i have this black bag to pop everything in i've already got my passport and my boarding passes in there i have this little travel document case which i've had for years it's a fairly ugly looking lilac thing but it's so useful have a few like coins in there from when i've been abroad before passport you can see all the different tags at the top there it's just a great way to keep things organized and i'm not run rummaging around in my bag looking for my passport looking for my boarding pass looking for my card or whatever this is a pretty easy thing to just pick straight out of my bag so there is actually a little front pocket in this bag which i think is great perfect for this kind of thing where i can put my money my phone everything that i need to get to easily so that's good i'll pop that in the zip pocket there and then the thing i like to do is to pop a lot of my expensive items in my hand luggage the um hairband came off because i felt like it wasn't working for me but yeah i like to put a lot of my expensive luxury designer items in my hand luggage i'm sure most of you guys do this but just in case something were to happen to my suitcase in the hold i've got most of my nice things with me i also like to put one bikini and maybe like a shirt and one evening outfit i've got like a thin dress that i'm gonna put in again just in case you know god forbid suitcase gets lost all i've got are shoes and handbags so i always like to do that as well just in case i had my suitcase lost once when i went to a festival in croatia luckily we got it back in time for the festival but it was a bit of a nightmare so i always like to be prepared i am so impressed with this bag so far so in the zip pocket i've obviously got the travel documents i've got my portable charger and my airpods and like i said i'll put my card holder on my phone in there as well and then in here i've got two pairs of sandals i've got my loewe bag my jacquemus bag my marnie bag a bikini black linen shirt pretty lavish dress and there's still definitely room for like a couple more things so i might put sorry if you can hear that air freshener keep going off by the way my mum has got them literally all around the house and they're so annoying. Yeah, I might put maybe one more pair of shoes in there if I can squeeze them in and a pair of underwear as well just in case. So instead of the shoes, I thought it's more beneficial to have this little pack of goodies. So I've got hand wipes, anti bat gel, Nurofen, my Moravica uh, face mist and a lip balm. I just thought that is going to be more beneficial for the plane so i can pop that in there and then i'll pop some like of my daily makeup in there as well like maybe like a tinted moisturizer or whatever because i may want to just freshen up a little bit once i get on or off the plane so now i'm going to pack my toiletries 
into these two. Hopefully there will be enough room. This big one, by the way, is from Bondi Sands and this one is from Look Fantastic. I'm not sure where I got them from. I think I just kept them when stuff got delivered them in them and I just reuse them for stuff like this because they are so handy. So let's start with toiletries in here first. Olaplex, the necessaire. It's also really good just to have stuff like this in its own container just in case, God forbid, there's a little bit of a leakage and it goes all over your clothes. Not ideal. I just really am kind of chucking this in, aren't I? Let's not do it like that. Let's think about this properly, Amy. Big ones in first, there we go. So that's that one done. That fits quite nicely actually in there. I'm wondering if I should have just used these. This I'm gonna use for the remainder of my underwear and socks. Good, yeah, that's all good in there. This one, can I put in here? Maybe I should use this. Do we even need this? Maybe not. I really am just thinking out loud now, guys. There we go. Let's do that instead. Let's do that. That's way better. I'm going to put my jewellery in with the underwear, actually. Let's do that. Right. Now, it's time to fold the clothes and get them in these packing cubes. I've never used anything like this before. This one I don't think I need because that's like a hanging one. Um, this is quite good. This was probably good for toiletries, but I think that this one's a bit more sturdy. So I don't think I need that. This I'm gonna take with me for like dirty, laundry, bikinis, underwear, stuff like that to just put in when I'm finished with it. And then I have these three, which I'm going to use for clothes. So I've already got my bikinis in here. So don't need to worry about them. They're all separate. So let's get folding first and then I'll put things into the cubes. I'm getting a bit worried, especially with like the shoes and the hats and stuff. I'm just thinking it's not, it's not looking like there is going to be that much space. Right, as the clothes packed, I've actually got the camera balancing on the suitcase. So let me open the suitcase, see how we're looking. Guys, I don't think it's going to fit. Right, let's start with shoes. I haven't got many. alone takes up the whole side look i think i may have to forego this hat you know that's a shame anyway let's get this one in and this one in right that is quite good all the clothes in one side and then i reckon i could put hats on the top and then Toiletries, swim. The only thing that I need left is this. Do you think this will fit? God, it's not going to fit, guys. It's not going to fit. I need this for the beach. <laughs> this is why I do things this early. So we have time to fix it. Maybe it's just the way I put things in. What I could do is not take these and I could wear the black sandals both nights. Not that that's gonna make a huge amount of difference. And then if I do that, I don't really need to take a jacket stack. I wanna do a jacket stack. I'm sad about this hat, but that is just that's a no, that's not feasible at all. This, I reckon, I've still got my makeup to be in there, but I reckon I can do that, you know. Right, let's swap it around. Let's swap sides, see if 
that works. This is still very, very ambitious of me, isn't it? Moment of truth. I'm not feeling hopeful. I can't lie to you guys. I'm not feeling hopeful. <laughs> oh, God, right. I think the answer to this is more bulky stuff in here. Maybe I can fit the Indian bin bag in here if I remove some of the other stuff from here. Let's give that a go. I'm doing everything to make sure I can take this bag because it's a, it's a beach bag. I need it. I did it guys. I managed to fit my Indian Bing basket bag in here. So, I mean this is looking pretty full now. I can still definitely close it, but I think I'm gonna to struggle to fit like my chargers and everything in there. So they may have to go in Tom's carry-on bag, but I'm sure that'll be fine because he's gonna have significantly less stuff than I do. Also got this like nifty little suitcase weighing scale thing. So I'm just gonna lift up this one and see if it is under 10 kg. Obviously like toiletries and stuff will get used a little bit when we're there. So I'm hoping that's gonna bring down the weight of it slightly. It can be 15 kg on the way there and then it's gonna be 10 on the way back. But you know what, if we have to pay extra, we have to pay extra. That's just the way life goes. So you basically just click this on to the suitcase handle and lift it up and it tells you the weight. Oh God, yeah, it's over 10. It's, it's 11. 11 kg so either i have to take something out and put it in tom's on the way back or i'm gonna have to i was gonna say leave my toiletries but i don't want to leave them because they're nice ones um we'll figure it out that's not too bad i expected worse i don't think there's a weight limit on this one so that should be fine that's not actually too bad like that that feels okay it's got a long strap as well so i can put it on my shoulder if i need to but that will be fine to carry and it's well within the dimensions fingers crossed it should fit nicely under the seat i bought it with that intention so hopefully we should be okay and now all that's left on the rail is what i am wearing to the airport so my adenola set and then i even have my socks and my underwear I've got these really cute little new socks from celine that tom bought me when we went to bista village so sweet and i've not worn them yet so saving them for the plane but yeah, everything is done. I didn't need this big packing cube. That was far too big. That was a, a real struggle getting that closed, but it's done now. When Tom gets here on Thursday, I will assess his packing situation and see if I can put anything in his. But that's a good job done. I'm pleased with that. Um, now I don't have to worry. I've just got my list of notes for things I need to shove in in the morning. Ah, oh, something I have forgotten about. My Dyson. Shit, that's going to have to go in Tom's bag. Oh well, that'll be fine. I'm not thinking about that now. Now that I've shut the case. So I'll obviously be posting my holiday pictures and updates and everything over on Instagram. So... Make sure you follow me over there if you want to see what I've been up to on holiday. I think this is gonna be posted whilst I'm still away or maybe once I'm back already, I'm not sure, I can't remember. I've also got a holiday prep vlog going live soon as well. So you'll be able to see how I prep myself for my holiday. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some tips, maybe, I'm not sure. I hope you have a fabulous time if you guys are going away and I will see you all very soon with another video. Bye.